The first thing we need to do is go in and create a connected app. So when Talend connects, it's going to look like this is the application that it's coming from. So we don't want new lightning app, instead we want new connected app. We'll give it a name, Talend. This name doesn't matter. And my email address. And then we have to enable the OAuth and give it just any callback URL. I'll just use localhost here. And then I'll just assign all of the permissions. And I'll unselect that. Now, what we really need here is a digital certificate. So we'll need to generate one of these first. And to do that, we will need to uh, go into the certificate management. I'll just open up a new tab here to do that. Here is the certificate and key management. We'll create a new one. And here we'll call it Talend. This name you'll need to know for the Talend setup. And we'll save it and then we'll download the certificate. We're going to need to import this both into the app and into Talend. We also need to download the key store. So we'll click that. We have to give it a password, and this password will need to get entered into the talent setup. And we'll export. So now we have the two files that we're going to need for this setup. So let's go back into the app configuration now, and we'll give it that certificate. And this is the first file that we downloaded. And we'll save this off, and it says it takes a few minutes for this to work, but it goes pretty quick. And yeah, so the certificate is here with the name Talend. So now we'll need to go through and give permission for our administrative account to connect with this app. So we're going to click Manage and uh, I think we need to go into the profile management. Yep, so we'll go in here. 
and I will change the setting and that should be all that we need to do here and now we can assign the profile that can access this and I'll just use system administrator so basically with this configuration we can connect using any administer, uh, administrator account and in the talent setup we just tell it which user we're going to connect as and as long as it is a user that has that profile we should be fine so now we're going into the talent setup here we'll open up the salesforce connection I just right click on here and tell it it's a new Salesforce connection. And we'll give it any old name here, it doesn't matter. And we need to change the connection type from basic to OAuth. Now the issuer, that's going to be the um, the key from our connected app so if we go back into view the connected app that we created and copy the um, the key right here copy it and we have to put it in double quotes And the subject is going to contain the username that we're going to connect as. So let me just go back in to my list of users and copy and paste it from there just to make sure that I have it right. And it will be this user account here. So we'll copy that. And this also has to be in double quotes and we need a timeout i'll just put 600 in here the key store is going to be that second file that we downloaded and then we have to put in that matching password and finally we give it the name of the certificate and there we go so we have a good connection so okay here but we cannot click next for some reason and that is odd let's try it again uh, oh I see um, so it's not liking that I have the name the same here so we'll change that and yeah now I can continue and we'll get our list of objects that are stored in Salesforce so I mean typical things to import account contact uh, let me just search for it here yeah contact maybe opportunities it's kind of the basic things that we import when we're starting a new org maybe we would load a list of products um, so yeah you, I mean if you need more you can select them here uh, I don't go crazy and import everything because that uh, takes a while and we'll finish and now if we expand this out we can see that we have our objects and our fields so that's it that's basically how you connect to salesforce from taland using a certificate authentication